Hello everyone, welcome to Comfort Community. Today I would like to share my thoughts on a recent event that has been going around about the death of Shenquilla Robertson. Most, the most recent update on this case is that an arrest warrant has been issued for one of her acquaintances that was present with her in the hotel. For those who do not know, Shanquela Robertson is a 28-year-old lady, beautiful woman, who was murdered on holiday with her acquaintances, supposedly her friends. So she was murdered a day after she arrived at her holiday destination in Mexico. She went on holiday with a few of her friends and things didn't turn out as she planned and the day after she arrived she was declared dead. Her friends had called her parents to inform them that she had suffered from alcohol poisoning but it turned out that she actually was killed and the autopsy report had shown that she had neck injury, severe neck injury and spinal injury. People are still debating what truly happened in that room with her and those people and I was surprised they took so long for an arrest warrant to be issued given that it had already been established that this lady's death was not a natural mm -hmm. one and there has been a video circulating of her being beaten by a so-called friend and I was wondering why it had taken the Mexican authorities this long to issue a warrant and why it had taken the FBI quite some time to hop on the case and to start an investigation. This story is quite heart-wrenching and very difficult to stomach given the circumstances of it. It is hard to, to be able to get a full picture of the events on that day because only those people who were with her in that villa actually know what happened and those people seem to have not been found um, there hasn't been any information as to whether any of them has been questioned so far so I'm really saddened by how things are really going slow it is known that when things happen to people like Shanquela a woman a black woman at that that um, Things tend to go really slow, but we are in in a time where communication and technology go hand in hand. And thanks to technology, people can share information from any part of the world, and things can really get exposed and escalated as soon as possible so i really do not understand why it's taken this long to issue an arrest warrant for all of the people who were present in that villa given that the autopsy report has already confirmed that her death was was um was not an act of god so my thoughts on this is that it is quite scary to know that there are people out there who pretend to be your friend but they're not really friends and to think that her she thought that those people really cared about her because why else would she go on holiday with them so it's been really devastating watching all the different um, outlets talking about the story but I'm pleased in a way that they are they picked up the story and that everyone is talking about it and for me, I didn't want to jump on the bad one, the bandwagon of this talking about this story because I really wanted her to.
to be buried. I really wanted the rites to be performed. I really wanted her soul to rest. But I do know for a fact that she will only rest when the people who did that to her, her are put to justice and they're brought to justice and the justice is done. And I just hope that things wouldn't be delayed and the Mexican authorities and the American authorities will do all, do all they can to work together to ensure that this case is properly handled and that each process will be followed, the correct process will be followed and that the families will be informed and told um, at every given point how things are going. My fear is that the hype will die down and that the authorities will fail to do their job and that like many other cases before this that we would never know what happened and that justice won't be done but I pray with all my heart for her family to receive consolation and my prayers are with them continually and I hope that they will be able to bear with the investigation and and the truth will come to light. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and leave your comments down below. Thank you.